Let's go to the highlights. Panthers looking good early in the first quarter. See the Cougars are hopping. Oh yeah. Yep. Panthers are hopping. Yeah. <laughs> These cats are bouncing. They're ready Everybody's to play. Everybody's hopping. In the first quarter, Panthers get a big play early. Cougars punting. Joshua White goes untouched through the line and blocks the punt. Panthers get the ball at the Cougars' three-yard line. That's good field position right there. Yeah. Isley Carrington takes it in from one yard out for the touchdown run. Extra point is missed. It is six to nothing, Panthers. They take the early lead. Another big play from Mr. Big Play. Isley Carrington runs into a man being blocked, breaks a few arm tackles, and bounces it out. And he is off to the races. 73-yard touchdown run. Play of the week nominee, and he adds his own two-point conversion. It's 14 nothing Panthers. We go to the second quarter. Cougars force a bad pitch and a turnover as Logan Davey hits Derek Selway. Jacob Hartford ends up with a recovery for the Cougars, but they miss on a 24-yard field goal attempt. Still no points. Cougars catch another break when a Ooh. high snap on a Panther punt gives the Cougars the ball on the Panthers' eight-yard line. So there's their excellent field position. This time they convert it into points. Tyler I. Quinto runs it in from two yards out. Extra point miss, 14-6 Panthers. Panthers come right back. Zachary Ogile almost tripped up, but stays up, gets blocks everywhere as he cuts up and takes off for a 42-yard touchdown run. Extra point, Zach Johnson. Panthers up 21-6 at the break. He's got some speed. He's got some wheels. Yeah. Third quarter, more big plays, more Ogile. Give the people what they want. Give it to them. <laughs> this time he gets tripped up awkwardly after yep. a 42-yard gain. Didn't look good, but he would be Ooh. fine. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Drive finished off by Carrington. Four-yard touchdown run is how many of the night, Jeff? Uh, I think that's three. If you're counting at home or mm -hmm. anywhere, it's three touchdowns. That's his X jersey. Point Johnson, 28 to six Panthers. Yep. Well, he doesn't score three touchdowns a game. Cougars uh, had four trips inside the red zone where they came away with zero points. Mm. We go to the fourth quarter. First play of the fourth quarter, Josh Bauer scores on a two-yard touchdown run. Johnson, the extra point, 35-6 Panthers rolling away with this one. Cougars do convert on their sixth trip to the red zone. Sophomore quarterback Kyle Nordby to Adam Iskerka, 17-yard touchdown. That was our final as Panthers win on homecoming night, 35-12. to and We just had to start finishing our drives, finishing the game out since uh, the big loss to TG. We just had to... Had a big practices and just worked hard. Uh, I feel like we all played great. You know, offensive line did a fantastic job tonight. It feels great. Um, we we wanted to do it a few weeks ago, but we came short, and this one felt really good. So the Cougars, uh, they were led by Kyle Nordby as Ryan Beeney. You said appendicitis? Yes. Get that thing removed. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Must have been having problems. Well, sophomore yep. Kyle Norby steps in for Ryan Meany, gets 109 yards uh, passing. And then for Spring Lake Park, Ogile 138 yards and a score. Mm. Carrington 191 yards Aye. and three touchdowns. Mm. Ooh, on nice fire. night for the Panthers. They're on fire, no doubt about it. And defensively, a big reason why they are uh, uh, winners of this matchup as Zapata, 14 tackles for him. Flink at an interception right at the end. So Spring Lake Park moving on up, Jeff. Moving on up to uh, third place behind Osceola Maple Grove. And the uh, Panthers right there, three and two overall. And then Park Center right next, Armstrong and Iron.